Ray Murphy of the Mott Foundation suggested to me in 2000, he said, there's these fantastic people coming to Dublin and they're top class people, leaders from all over the world and community foundations. And we were thinking about setting up a community foundation. So he said, I can get you a seat at the table for you to listen. So I went and I sat at the table and of course I couldn't stop asking questions. How do you do this? How do you do that? And they were amazing people. So for the Community Foundation for Ireland, which started after our first meeting, it's totally intertwined. You couldn't, you, oh, I can't um, change or tell you that how TCFN affected the Community Foundation because the, the effect was so massive. Everything they, that I learned came from TCFN because I, on my island, on, in Ireland, there was no support network. We weren't like America or Canada or the UK. We're this, we were starting off and there was nobody else. So I would come to the meetings and I'd learn about asset development and I'd go home and I'd put together an asset development plan. And if you look at my board meetings, they nearly go, the big decisions all coincide with my peer group learning or my working group learnings. So if the reason that we're successful and we are is because of TCFN. We owe it a massive debt. And I, I, I can't begin to tell you that we'd, have, we'd be nothing without it. I see other foundations that start at the same time as us, and they didn't have my huge opportunities. And they would be tiny in comparison to us. And the principle is uh, to share knowledge. Yeah. Uh, do you share your knowledge then back to into the uh, TCFN network again. Yeah, well, we've had a peer group over in Dublin. We, what we did was um, we asked a working group to come to Dublin to work with us so that we could tell them what it is like for TCFN, for what it is like for a new community foundation. So a lot of the, of the um, products that were written, they could use Ireland as kind of a, um, a guinea pig for all Eastern Europe and Central and Eastern Europe because I, I would be able to say, no, that's not the way we do it in Europe or that's the way we do it, but it's a little bit different. So we shared all of the learnings. And then I had people, um, not just uh, people from the network come over, but I had their sons and daughters come over. So if you look at Dorota from Poland, Snowy Mountain Foundation in Poland, her daughter Susanna came over to work, she lived with me for about a month and worked in my community foundation and then went back and she is now uh, messianic about the community foundation in uh, Snowy Mountain and her mother says she's a changed woman. <laughs> so it, the, the networks of people I think is one of the strongest things. When, if, the, if I have a question, I have people all over the world that I can answer. I can ask them, what did you do when, when, you, when this happened? So it's like having a huge resource of really good friends that know everything. <laughs> um, it has been an amazing journey for me personally. And again, it's back to the people. What TCFN did was, if, if in phase one, we were all worked in working groups. That meant that we got to know each other very well. Because when you're working with somebody on an objective, you know their strengths and weaknesses, what it is that they can do. So we bonded really well. And as the phases went on, it became more focused about the work. So the peer learnings that we've ended up with took a while to get there, but they're fantastic. I mean, the, the, it's just some of the best. It's like a university for community foundations. Um, and it's really good and you they cram into what you could be doing for two years into three days so it, it TCVN I, I just can't talk highly enough about it and I, I'm afraid that I even people think I'm exaggerating you know it's untrue we have a, an amazing um, network and I think even to discussions today I'll tell you that people wanted to grow and become something bigger and take in more people and be um, maybe more global.